Aloha everybody, my name is Jane and I'm an independent Color Street stylist. Thank you all so much for stopping by because you are in for a lovely treat. Today we're going to get super creative and we're going to be using three different nail sets. Do you know what we're going to make today? This is what we're going to make today. Isn't it gorgeous? So to make this come to life, we're going to be using At The Plaza along with Oslo and Steady, and Palm Before the Storm. What you will see is a bunch of tips and tricks that I get to show you on how I apply my nail sets, along with some mishaps along the way. But Color Street is so forgiving that you can always make even your mishaps still work out for you. All right, I'm so excited to show what I have in store for you. And before I let you go, please make sure you click like and subscribe down below so we can always stay connected. All right, much love and aloha and see you soon. So these are our lovely sets that we will be using. We have At The Plaza, which is a gorgeous dusty rose color. Look at that. Simply beautiful. Then we have Oslo and Steady and Palm Before The Storm. I cannot wait to put these on my fingers. So these are the sets I'll be using. I have Palm Before the Storm with my two-tone color for my thumbs. I'm going just to use one for my pointer. I'm gonna do the two-tone effect with my middle finger and my ring finger, and just a simple color for my pinky. So I wanna show you something cool. These are all of the extra nail sets that I have from each of those sets. I like to store them in the original package. And I like to use a heat source. For me, I love using a flat iron because it's handy. And the goal is to make sure that the edge is nice and sealed so that no air can go in or out. So I'm doing this for each and every one of those extra nail sets. And the beauty of this is that I can store them in a freezer and take them out when I'm ready to use them again. All right, now let's get to the fun part. Let's do our nails. Step number one, make sure that your nail beds are nice and clean before you apply your nail sets. You can use an alcohol wipe or an alcohol with a cotton pad but the goal is to make sure your fingertips and your fingernails are perfectly clean so that way your nail sets will look amazing so we're going to start on our pinky we should always start with your pinky first and end on your thumb So this nail set is very thin. I removed the bottom layer and I just removed the top layer. There is going to be a tab that you see. Gently make sure you pull that off before applying your nail sets. So here's a tip and trick. Use the backing as a placeholder. This will help you use that nail set to position on your nail bed exactly how you want it. Once you commit to your placement, go ahead and smooth everything out. Make sure that there's no bubbles. Because the strip is very thin, I'm going to go ahead and use my cuticle scissors and save the other half. I'm just checking my nails to make sure that there's no bubbles. And once everything is perfect, I'm just gonna take my nail file and gently file the tip in one direction to remove that extra excess. Oopsies, I totally placed it on the wrong side. I was supposed to put the nail set on the non-sticky side but well I placed it on the sticky side so I'm left with an even smaller nail set than I, than I expected for my pinky but that's okay 
Luckily, that extra set is still able to fit my pinky. So I made it work. Magic! So now I'm preparing for my ring finger. I'm going to cut a diagonal line on both of those nail strips. So this one's a bit tricky. Make sure you gently remove that top layer and obviously the bottom layer and use the backing for placement. The process will be the same, smooth everything out, fold everything over, and remove that extra excess. Now we're going to apply that second layer as a two-tone color. The process is the same. Once you find the placement, you smooth everything out. Pinch the tip, fold everything over, and file the excess away. Now it's time to put on our clear overlay. <sighs> Isn't it gorgeous, guys? Look at how pretty that is. The process is always going to be the same. You're going to smooth everything out. Cut that extra excess and file it away. Are you guys ready for the completed look? Ta-da! Amazing, right? Thank you so much for watching. Please take a look at the links below so that way we can stay connected. Much love and aloha, everyone.